going back to Le'Veon Bell, everybody in the media, a lot of people like to talk on Twitter, it's try to stir up the pot. So when Le'Veon Bell came into town, everybody was ready to write you off and saying, oh, he's going to lose his starting job. But you saw it more as an opportunity as, hey, this guy can come in and I can learn a lot of great stuff from him. What are some specifics that you learned from Le'Veon Bell's game? And was he someone that you really grew up watching uh, and, and loving when you played football? Um, you know, the, the things I picked up from Le'Veon, well, I feel like the biggest thing is just is just film study and the, and the way that he reads defenses. Uh, Le'Veon, you know, he sits in meetings and, and, you know, calls certain things out and can remember a play, you know, the second run period that we had, you know, Miami week where, you know, he saw a look and it was similar to a look that we were looking at, you know, currently on the, you know, on the, on the, on the film. So, uh, you know, Le'Veon has a, has a, you know, his memory set up is, uh, is, I feel like it's, a, it's, it's very advanced. Um, you know, he, he memorizes things, he sees things, he's smart. Um, one of the hardest working guys that, that I've, that I've been around from, from just a, a working, you know, a working standpoint. And, uh, you know, honestly, man, uh, you know, Le'Veon, to be truthful, Le'Veon wasn't a guy that I was just always watching. I knew, you know, I heard about him, uh, Michigan State 2-4 hurdling everybody. And, and I watched his highlights plenty of times, but just uh, his size, me probably knowing that, that I wasn't going to be around the same size. I, I tend to, uh, at, the, at the time that I was growing up in that time, you know, I was watching guys, old film, Barry Sanders. Um, you know, I was I was big on Barry uh, growing up. So that was mostly the film that I was watching.